Who is that? Probably my wife. Wife? Oh, hey, Martin. Uh, why aren't you in school? A by birth and everyone got sent home. Who is that? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Who is that lady with you? But there's no one here, Martin. But Dad, I can clearly see that lady. Oh, I get it. It must be a ghost. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. When I was a child, I used to see ghosts too, you know? But they go away. They won't hurt you. It's okay. But Dad, I can clearly see that lady. You know what, Martin? I know. A great test for ghosts. Okay, let's do it right now. Okay, so first you need to close your eyes very tight. Yeah, as tight as you can. That's it. Now count in your head from one to five, okay? That's it now, Marty. Now open your eyes and tell me, what do you see? Where is the lady? Well, that proves it. She was a ghost. But you know what, Martin? Let's not tell anyone about the ghost. Okay, not even mom. Let it be our little secret. Okay, buddy? Okay, Dad. That's good. Okay, come on, let's go. Honey, the potatoes are amazing. <laughs> You've outdone yourself. Thank you, darling. Martin, eat something. You can finish your drawings later, please. <laughs> who's this? Martin, tell me. Who's this woman? Martin, tell me. It's a ghost. A ghost? I saw a ghost in our house. Uh, Martin. How about finishing your dinner by the computer? Hmm? Then grab your plate and go watch some cartoons, okay? Uh, Victoria, I... I didn't want to tell you this, but... There is something wrong with Martin. He keeps seeing some kind of ghost. But he never... Tell me anything about it. Well, you're always at work. You don't notice that. But he comes to me and he says stuff like, let's give this lady some tea. There's no one around. Okay, this is serious. We need to do something about it. We should go to the doctor. Uh, I don't know if all of that is necessary. I think it's something he would just grow out of. Jacob. He's literally seen people that don't exist. It's not normal. You should take him to the doctor tomorrow, please. I'm really worried. I am not taking him to the doctor. Okay, you have something better to do? In case you've forgotten, you're unemployed. He's not my son. Your problem, figure it out. Why don't you just call his real father? Let him deal with that. You know, if Martin was my son, he'd be in the opposite end of the gene pool and he'd be perfectly healthy. Okay. Martin, little buddy, do you mind waiting in the waiting room for a minute, please? I need to talk to your mom real quick. Out of boy. Victoria, I don't want to upset you, but this looks a lot like mental disorder. A serious one, actually. We've seen these before. For some kids, the symptoms went away on their own. For others, uh, we had to choose intensive therapy, sometimes strong medication. Has there been anything stressful in your family lately? No, no, everything is fine. Um, let's give it some time, okay? 
and then let's see how this shakes out. If the visions continue after six months, I have a very good specialist I can recommend. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you, thank you, doctor. One more thing. Try not to look worried. Sure. Wonderful. Good luck. Thank you. Martin, what are you doing? I'm going to the ghost disappear. What ghost? Where did you see it? By the table, the lady with the apron. I saw her at our house. No, Martin. She's real. Excuse me? Uh, can I borrow your phone? My battery is dead and I need to call my husband. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's going on? Who the hell are you? Hey, Victoria, what's going on? What's going on, honey? What are you talking what about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about these two guys here taking our stuff out. What guys? It's no one here. What do you mean there's no one here? Are you kidding me, Victoria? Open your eyes. Hello? Honey. You must be seeing ghosts. You are imagining stuff. My tiger. Oh, Victoria, listen. Stop. Uh... No more lies. Every day you told me you love me and you lied to me. Even more, I put the roof over your head. You don't work, you use me and you take me for granted. Okay, but the worst part is that you lied to my son. You told him crazy stuff about him. The child cannot handle now. You abused him, Jacob, and you're going to pay for that. Oh, look, it's not a ghost. Mr. Peterson. We have a warrant for your arrest from Child Protective Services. Government. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I may have made some mistakes, okay? But I am no child abuser. You are so right, Jacob. My son doesn't share your genes. Goodbye. Mr. Peterson, you have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in the court of law. Come on, let's go. It's my turn to ghost you. <laughs> Dear passengers, this is Captain Cobb Stinson speaking. A woman? What? Captain? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. I didn't charter this flight for it to crash. I'm piloting this plane. Listen, sweetie. Just one call from me, and you're not going to step foot on another plane as long as you live. Do you understand me?